What's up, my Tasmanian Devils? This is Tazzy Cookie, Major Lookie, coming back for another Battlefield 3 commentary this week. And this week, I'm bringing something new to the table. It's a new series idea, which is called Weapon Strip. That's the breakdown of a weapon and putting it back together in the military. Um, so this week, I'm focusing on the ACWR, and I'm going to showcase to you guys some highlights and how it handles and my thoughts and my opinions on this one weapon in particular. So let me tell you guys how the actual series idea is going to work. So next week, you guys have the the idea in mind frame that I'm going to be showcasing a new weapon next week of course and you have it in your hands so basically if you want me to showcase a FAMAS next week and you want me to tell you guys how it handles my thoughts and opinions on it then all you gotta do is comment below saying hey Taz check out the FAMAS and if your comment gets one to two or three likes that tells me that other people want me to showcase the FAMAS and give me my opinions on that one particular weapon. So the ACWR has two firing modes. One is semi-automatic, of course, and two is fully automatic. Pretty standard with all Battlefield 3 weapons. Um, so another thing I would want to stress to you guys is that the reload time is 2.5 seconds on an empty magazine. So that can come into a, a big contributing factor to dying on a, on a long kill streak. As you can see, I kind of uh, switched my secondary there because I know it takes a long time to reload this weapon. Um, if there's three or four bullets fired out of the magazine, it only takes up to 1.85 seconds to reload it. So that's not too bad, but you want to stay clear from, you know, an empty mag. So make sure you take cover when you are on a high kill streak because it does get frustrating with uh, having to reload a magazine that almost almost takes three seconds to to fully reload the weapon. Um, another thing to keep in mind is the maximum ammunition is a must. So if you get the extended mags or extra mags, what call it whatever you want to call it, it gives you a loadout of 216 rounds 26 in the magazine and one in the chamber of course so why I'm telling you guys this is because you will find yourself losing a lot of ammunition because you obviously we don't always hit the target and with the this the starting ammunition ammunition only being 135 rounds uh, or bullets that's kind of not a lot especially if you're on a high kill streak you will kind of uh, just run out of ammo very fast. And we all know in Battlefield 3 that some of our squad mates and some of our you know, revives and heal guys and medics, they don't like to play squad friendly. So you might not have the right ammunition, you might not get any ammunition from your squad mates. So the extended mags is a must in my opinion. The loadout would be a heavy barrel. Uh, Cobra as the sight, as you can see I'm using it. And the foregrip helps with a little bit of the recoil. Uh, the, the, the Weapon doesn't jump that much, but the recoil is just like any weapon. I mean, the foregrip is going to help you out in the long run. Um, stay away from long range shots because, at a long range, say up to 100 meters, the weapon damage or the bullet damage rather drops down to 16.7. But if you're in close quarters, the, the bullet damage is about 20, so that's a little bit better. But also, with that being said, it's going to still take about six bullets to take out an enemy. So it kind of it's almost like your, your bullets have rubber on the end of them when you're using this weapon which is kind of frustrating at first when you start to use it because until you get the understanding of the bullet uh, of the weapon rather and how it feels and how it handles it's going to be frustrating um, so that's why i'm telling you guys to make sure that you do reload because if you do not reload on a regular basis then you're going to find yourself going around corners uh, you know with three bullets in in your magazine because it doesn't have a lot of bullets in the magazine to be to begin with um, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and the series idea. If you did, please leave a like, share this video, and let me know what I should use next week. Until next time, Tazzy Cookie signing out. <laughs>